channel. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Sophie and today is my, I was going to say first video of 2021, but it's not, it's actually my second. <laughs> the first one was my New Year's Eve vlog and yeah, really enjoyed that. Day in in is the new going out. But today I thought it would be appropriate as we've approached a new year to start setting some goals, things I want to achieve during 2021. And I just thought it'd be a fun way of going through a list of different goals I've jotted down. Some are a lot bigger than others so I've kind of done some main big goals and then I've done some other smaller ones as well. But I've kind of like sectioned them actually so um, we've got like personal, we've got like health, we've got relationship, we've got money, we've got smaller achievements. Yeah I was wondering if you guys had set any goals or achievements you want to accomplish throughout 2021, if so let me know in the comments some of your goals. I'm just gonna go straight through my list and we're just gonna go and take it from there really. So in work life and social media I've kind of categorised it as one so I'd really really like to achieve by the end of this year possibly 5k on YouTube. Now that seems quite far away really, I think I'm on like 1.5 at the moment but I just feel like if I was to hit 5,000 on YouTube that would be like a great achievement in itself like I feel like I've got lots of video ideas coming up and I just want to create more and better content so yeah and I really enjoy it I find that like it's so therapeutic to be able to sit down in front of the camera and create a video and I love the editing process and just yeah I just really really enjoy it it's just something fun for me to do like outside of work it just gives me something to do especially now like with how times are and can't really go out and do things I find it really satisfying that I've still got something to focus on and that I enjoy doing I've also popped down to create content and work with a couple of brands I think that would be really cool to do in 2021 like to be able to say that I have worked with a couple of brands and created some fun content on social media for them I want to get back into illustration and designing for myself so for you those that don't know me I am a graphic designer specifically in the education sector and I'm obviously working I obviously work Monday to Friday like 8 30 till 5 so then in the evenings and the weekends I just I've sat at a computer that long just kind of creating things and you know when you just you know you just need to step away from it so that has obviously caused me to not do as much for myself anymore and I do have like a little illustration account on Instagram and I've just basically abandoned it which is so sad I just yeah just stepped away from it and I would really really like to get back into it start building up that account again and it's such a wonderful community on Instagram like specifically for the designers and illustrators everyone is so lovely and I love seeing everyone else's work and one of my biggest inspiration is actually my dad hi dad <laughs> and he I'm going to link his Instagram accounts on screen now because he is literally smashing the Instagram game and his illustration work is incredible and yeah he's just someone that is that I do see as an inspiration because he's pursuing his dreams and he's worked really really hard and it just goes to show like hard work really does pay off. I also want to be more active on my personal like Instagram account as well I'm getting again, one of them people that like there's so many lovely people that take the time to comment and I will reply but sometimes I just feel like oh I don't really, I don't know, it's like the worries and anxieties in my head that I don't reach out to other people because I think oh they'd be like who is this person like I don't care like <laughs> I don't know, my mind overworks, so I want to be more active on Instagram, create more content in general, post more, um, comment more and communicate with others much more. And then an overall thing that I've just literally touched on is to worry and stress less in work and in my own life as well to be fair, like to, I literally like this year, beginning of last year, beginning of last year I would literally worried myself and I worried myself that much that I was in such a bad place and it was the worst place I've ever been in my life but we move <laughs> I'm feeling like I'm a completely different person right now compared to last year it's actually quite sad looking back at myself last year but <sighs> worrying and anxieties take over and it's so hard to say oh yeah yeah just don't worry and it's not that easy but I, 
if I kind of put things into perspective more and think, oh, if, if I write down what's the worst thing that's going to happen, then I can see it there. And it's probably most likely never going to even touch the surface of being the worst thing to happen then it's not that bad. So my mind goes into an overdrive, creating it into a bigger issue than it actually is. <laughs> so, I'm going to work on that. I'm going to worry less, I'm going to stress less, and take every day as it comes. And in the grand scheme of things, if it's not really gonna affect my life that badly, who cares? Whatever, we move. 2021. So in terms of relationship, me and Ryan have been speaking about this so much, so we really want to move into a bigger place now. We love this little house so much, it's so cute. Um, we are renting, but we, we love it, but we're just starting to outgrow it, and we also really, really want a dog, which falls into my next goal as well. So we would love a dog, and it would be absolutely amazing to have a dog by the end of this year, but obviously, to do that, we've not allowed pets in this house, but also, it's not the right size and layout of a house to have a dog, we have, we have like a tiniest patio and we would like a um, like red golden retriever. <laughs> so, needs a bit, It would we would need a back garden really, let's be honest. I mean, it is possible, but we're not allowed pets in this place anyway. So we need to find a bigger place that we're both really happy with, uh, that allows pets, and then we can get our baby golden retriever, because that is our like dream. <laughs> so them two coincide with each other, so, hopefully this year, hopefully, I'm fingers, toes crossed, I'm manifesting it, guys. Hopefully it happens. Well, me and Ryan also discussed, we want to, we don't know if we'll be able to yet, but we would like to travel somewhere new this year. We would like to go, whether it's abroad or just somewhere, we just want to go away on a little getaway holiday. We didn't have a holiday last year and that's absolutely fine. A lot of people didn't, it's not the be all and end all and in the grand scheme of things, like there's a lot like more serious things going on in the world right now. So, but it would be nice to be able to go somewhere next year. Getting on a plane would be lovely, but we'll see. Okay, so this one's quite personal. I'm not gonna give an actual number, but I've got a figure in my head, well, down on paper that I want to be able to save this year. So I want to be able to save a certain amount of money and I've got a figure in mind and yeah, I'm just gonna aim for that. I feel like I'm the type of person that if I've got it down on paper and I keep referring to that, that will then like trigger like me being more money savvy, which is actually another goal of mine. So the next thing is actually to become more money savvy, spend less, think about like what I'm buying, um, do I need it and things like that. So if I have that goal in mind and I'll reflect all the time, like when I'm buying certain things, like am I just buying this for the sake of it? Do I need this? No, probably not. Therefore, I probably don't need it. Takeaways here and there. It's not a necessity at all. I can cook. <laughs> it's much cheaper to do so. However, we'll have a little cheeky takeaway now and then because it's got to treat yourself here and there. It's all about balance, isn't it? But I want to be more money savvy and obviously want to save the ballpoint figure I have down on paper. I'd like to read more. I love reading. I don't give enough time to reading. I end up scrolling through my phone. I end up watching YouTube videos. I end up watching Netflix. I end up just, I saw something earlier on this uh, last year now <laughs> that it was like, I spend all day working on my, on the middle screen and then have a break using my small screen and then I treat myself in the evening to the big screen and it was so true it's like literally working on a computer scrolling through your phone watching tv everything's so screen based and I just want to step away from that like a lot more even if I have a bath I will prop up my phone on a stand and watch something and it's actually terrible because I spend pretty much all day on a screen I'm even looking at the viewfinder screen right now as I'm speaking to you. I know it's a little bit different, but I'm still looking at a screen. <laughs> so I want to step away more and read more books. And I've put down, because I don't want to be like, book a month. It's not going to happen. I know it's not going to happen. So I've put down to read a book every two months. So I give a couple of months and work through and read a book because I feel like that's more realistic for me personally. But I do really enjoy reading. I just need to pick up the book more. I always think, oh, I always put it at the bottom of my list and it's sad really because I do really enjoy it. So yeah, this is a great one. My family will laugh at this because I've never been able to do it. Grow my nails. I do apologize if you were someone that has watched my past videos and seen my grotty little nails. Um, <laughs> 
I'm just not a very girly girl when it comes to the nails at all and they're horrendous I would show you now but they're they've got a little white tip on some of them and I'm so proud so that is one of my goals I don't actually I don't notice when I'm doing it anymore I've done it ever since I was like 13 it's a horrendous habit and now 25 I think I do it a lot when I'm nervous and worried and um must be a nervous wreck all the time let's be honest because I've never got any nails I don't, it's that much of a habit that I don't know it's doing it so I'm going to work really hard and like try and pinpoint when I've got my finger in my mouth it's actually disgusting to take it out and stop being a scrub because <laughs> I want to have nice nails I want to be able to paint them <laughs> so that is a small goal but it's a big goal really for me because it's going to be hard work next one's quite amusing as well swear less I am, it's actually really bad, I'm quite embarrassed by it, that I am actually such a big potty mouth and it's just become second language, like certain words will just creep into my every like everyday sentences and I have to really think about it to like not. So I'm going to try my best to swear less because it's, it's not great, it's not attractive is it? Like, there's no need for it. Um, yeah, so I'm working on that as well. <laughs> Printing photographs. Again, if you're someone that's watched my videos and seen like vlogs of all the photo frames I have and no photographs in them, it's going to change. And I've said that about three times. This year is the year. I'm going to sit aside. I'm going to print loads of photographs. I'm going to buy albums. Because I just look like I hate the fact that all your photos just get like you put, upload some to Instagram. You upload some to social media accounts. But they get lost on your phone. And then when you're scrolling through your phone, you're like, oh remember that and it's like oh I need to just print them having them in album because I love nothing more than flicking through a photo album so I really need to do that and I want to get certain like more frames for the house make it more homely by printing photos of me and Ryan with like each other our friends our family like we just don't really have any so that's on my list so I have a goal weight that I would like to be and I'm not going to state my current weight online um, but I do, and I don't want this to be triggering to anyone so this is just more than like this is more of like a healthy I want I want a more healthy lifestyle and I'm currently not that happy I've never been someone that struggled with weight I know this is a really touchy subject so I'm going to try and go over this really quickly but I've never been someone that's really struggled with weight, I've never really cared about how I look like, but re like in this last year, like, year or so, year or two, um, yeah, not too happy really, I'm not really happy where I, like, the weight I am now, so I would like to lose around the two stone mark, and then I feel like I would be content again, <laughs> um, it's going to be a lot of work, but I'm definitely, like, not going to stop treating myself here and then. Like I said earlier, it's all about balance. But exercise is a major one that I need to introduce back into my life. I just need to make my healthier lifestyle choices, really, and stop snacking on packets of biscuits. So, you know, it's about balance. A biscuit here and there, yeah, absolutely. But when you're eating them for breakfast... It's not great is it drinking more water also falls into that so a little achievement i want to accomplish is to drink more water every day because i don't drink enough i will sit there and then when i'm thirsty i will drink some water and that's not great because that's when i'm dehydrated <laughs> so i would like to learn more about the law of attraction and manifestation i have touched on this a lot this year i've watched many videos i found some inspiring videos by jim carrey i felt like his speeches were very very inspiring i've seen a lot of people who are into manifestation and the law of attraction and i've start i've read the book good vibes good life i recommend that i recommend reading the secret and then i was very kindly bought for christmas by my parents the um the secret daily teachings so I'm yet to read that one. Um, I am actually, I touched on this in my New Year's Eve vlog. This is the Law of Attraction Planner that Ryan got me for Christmas. I'm really excited about that. So it says on the front here, be the energy you want to attract and it's like a little sleeve and it comes out here. So this is my new planner that I am using in 2021. It's absolutely stunning. It's got like gold pages here. If you want to look more in depth in this, on my New Year's Eve vlog, I will link that on screen now, I did talk through this and I showed you 
pretty much most well not every page because obviously it's the list of the calendar of the year but all the pages how in depth it is of what you need to fill out your list of goals how it's set out and how it can help you really but i find this really interesting i've already kind of done my little goal setting here for that's well that's my goal setting in life not just for this year that's my life <laughs> but we've got here i need to fill this out still like top five goals from what you've listed that you want to achieve in one year we've got setting rewards if you achieve your goal program your mind and unlock your true potential um and then we've got here your journey so it has a list of like your free time and family health financial career relationship personal development and spiritual and it's like where you are now where you're going how do you get there um it's just really really in depth and then obviously further on it has just got like every day listed i don't know if you can really see that on camera because of the lighting but it's got your um weeks and then it's got like places uh, areas to list below your actions your goals this month what you want to achieve your priorities and then yeah it's really helpful actually and then at the end of every month it's got a reflection section a reflection section a reflection section of the month so what you have achieved what you haven't why and things like that and then at the end of the whole calendar so at the end of this year it has a reflection of the whole year so you can look back and i just find this really helpful and it's absolutely stunning so yeah i do go in it, into it in a bit more detail in that vlog but i am using that i'm going to also i really want to create a, like a manifestation vision board so so kind of using these goals that i'm talking about right now and creating a vision board so i can visually see things that i want to achieve this year i think that'd be really helpful it'd be quite nice as well to look at and then like at the end of the year i can kind of see what has what i have and haven't achieved and obviously don't be disheartened if you haven't achieved everything because we're only human and you're not going to always achieve everything so but as long as you're making them little steps to still try and achieve them doesn't matter if it's not this year it could be next year it could be the year after but it'd be quite nice to look back on. I really want to use Skillshare and expand my skill set within like designing and illustration more. So obviously I'm someone that thinks like, you're never gonna know everything. You could be doing something as like a full-time job, but you've still got room to, for development. You're still learning. Like there's always things to learn and develop in your own skill set. So I find that quite rewarding when you spend time and learn about something new, especially when it's something you're quite passionate about. So I would like to, I hear a lot of people talk about Skillshare and I've heard it's a great platform. So I would like to kind of set some time in the evenings. It gives me something else to do then as well. I know they do like, I've not looked into it a horrendous amount, but I kind of know an overview from when people have spoken about it that you can kind of book onto like, well not book on, but like <laughs> access online sessions. So. I mean, it could be like an hour in the evening, every evening or once a week or something like that. So yes, I know you have to kind of pay for that, but I know there's lots, lots of discounts and deals throughout the year. So I'm going to look into that more and yeah, expand my skill set. I want to practice gratitude daily and this falls into like me trying to create a bit more of a positive mindset, worrying less and trying to reduce my anxieties. Um, so just practicing maybe just three things before I go to bed, what I'm grateful for. If I write it down as well, like three things I'm grateful for today. And even if you've had a bad day, that will then put the day into perspective. And it's like, it's not actually that bad because look at these three things that you are grateful and that you have. So I think that'd be quite nice to properly practice gratitude every day. See family more. <laughs> we live uh, an hour away from our family. And um, yeah, I know, I know it's a bit weird because we want to see we would see them more if times weren't like they were like i'd see them probably every week but yeah i don't know i want to see family more but obviously that's all dependent on how this year goes so hopefully hopefully we can i just i'm really praying that we can and the last one is to gain more confidence with my driving i hate driving i hate it i absolutely hate it but i don't want to hate it <laughs> anyone that knows me i really really hate it <laughs> um i never wanted to learn how to drive i just did and ever since that moment i hated it <laughs> um i have a car and i will pop to the shops in there and i will drive to my like see my parents obviously when we we can like that's fine because i know the route and things but obviously since like very recently where we've really not been able to go many places at all it's kind of like allowed me to not drive 
and then obviously because I'm not confident anyway and don't like it it's very easy to just yeah I won't drive and then then when it it's, it's just making it worse for myself isn't it like because I didn't like it anyway and now I'm just like hiding away from it almost so this year I need to like <laughs> I need to really smash it out and get out of my comfort zone because I don't even know what it is. I'm just like, it's the anxieties and worrying again. That's what it is. And it's with driving and it's horrendous. It's just, yeah. <laughs> so I'm working on that. I've got this. <laughs> so that is all my goals for 2021. There's quite a lot there, obviously, but some are a lot more major than others. Like some are a lot smaller and... Um, Although I do actually feel like I've got quite a long list there that I've rambled through, but hey ho, if we don't start the year with some kind of goals, then I'm, I'll probably just sit here and do not a lot really. So <laughs> I feel like I am personally like a type, I am a type of person that will, that will work hard towards something if I've actually physically put it there and set it as like, the be all and end all this is your goal and you've got to reach that because I am someone that like give me a deadline I'll do everything I can to achieve that I will go above and beyond so if I have these actually set down and I look at these often and be like these are the things that I need to achieve I think I will I think like the that like, it's just the kind of person I am I think I will work hard to make sure I either achieve them or I'm very much on the way to achieving them whether it happens this year or not so yeah, fingers crossed, let's see, but don't obviously bum yourself out by if you look at the end of this year and you haven't, or even if you're not setting that many goals, or if you're not even thinking about setting any goals, do what you, do what's right for you. It doesn't matter how big or small your goals are, a goal is a goal. But I hope your 2021 is filled with a lot more positivity this year, and um, sending you all lots of love for the new year, and if you enjoyed this video, give it a little like. Subscribe if you want to see more from me and I will see you all next time. Bye! Mm -hmm.